Good day, folks. This is Omar Hosea, the servant. Uh, we prayed in the first verse. I guess this is going to have to be part two. See, nobody called me. I'm going to share something with you for y'all folks before I finish up uh, with this. Um, Emmanuel and the prophecy of Maher Shalal Hashbaz. Uh, which is the cousins. Emmanuel and Meher Shalal Hashbaz are cousins. And um, the purpose of these videos is Zechariah was a prophet. His wife Elizabeth was a prophetess. Look at these two things. A prophet and a prophetess get together. They have a baby and they name him Meher Shalal Hashbaz. Also known as John the Baptist. In, uh, in the Bible, uh, in Luke. All right, and this is in Isaiah, uh, chapter eight, and about and the prophecies about Isaiah. I mean, the prophecy of Isaiah about John the Baptist, Maher Shalal, Hashbaz, is in Isaiah chapter eight, and the prophecy about uh, Mary slash Miriam. The mother of Emmanuel is in Isaiah chapter seven, and how they intertwine. But here's 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 a thing that people uh, is missing is that Zechariah was a prophet and a priest. Uh, Elizabeth was a prophetess, and through this priesthood, they had the authority. By man and the Most High Yahallah to anoint the king. Think about that. Who anointed Martin Luther King? Nobody. Uh, who anointed Marcus Garvey? Nobody. Who anointed Noble Drew Ali? Nobody. Who anointed Farrakhan as king? Nobody. The, Nobody has the power to anoint kings of Israel has not come. The Most High hasn't sent that spirit down to be the, for it to be anointed king by anybody. It hasn't come yet. Now, if it has came, it hasn't surfaced yet according to the Most High's will. Not my, I'm not saying it's here or it isn't here. We're just saying through history, when you look back, you say, hold up. When John, when Mahir, 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 Salal, Hashbaz, bear with me, because this is just new, this is new on my tongue, this is new on my spirit, so bear with me, I haven't, I haven't got it fluent yet. When he baptized Emmanuel in the Jordan River, that's when the spirit came down, or the spirit of authority came down and said, this is who I chose. You see the office, the the, the you know what I mean there's a there's a permission, there's a authentic there's a authentic there's a authentication of what has to be done. And so until this authentication has gets done, there would not be no king of Israel on earth. There would not be no kingdom of God on earth until this process come again. So uh and so this is where we see the Mitchmack in the scriptures and in the Quran. Because even in the Quran it says Isa and Mary. And Isa to them is saying Jesus when there is no Jesus. So I'm going to do a real quick recap. Uh, real quick recap. It says, let her name, if you can read backwards, I'm sorry folks. Let her name him Emmanuel. All right. Let Zechariah be a witness, and the prophetess will bear his son. So we got Zechariah as a witness. We got her naming her child Emmanuel. We got Elizabeth and Miriam, who are cousins. So here that confirms the earlier statement. What I said was about there's an office, there's an order, what has to be done to name the king of Israel, and we need to know this. And they they rewrote these books and twisted them and flipped them. The devil flipped them and changed the words and the names so we would not know how to anoint the new king of Israel and bring the kingdom of the Most High on earth. 
This is how we're going to be able to do it. This is how we're going to be able to see it spiritually, physically, emotionally, mentally, economically, uh, 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 and mentally. And sociology and social, social wise too. So there's a structure. And the structure begins with this. Uh, if you read Isaiah chapter 7 through Isaiah chapter 8, and if you pick those pieces out, you'll better see how we get to uh, the New Testament. Now, another recap. Another recap. And in the Quran, it says, and this is Surah 23, 50, 52, but I don't have the name for it. Another recap. I'll show you the page. Right there where you can find it for yourself. Or if you have a cell phone, you can uh, type in Isa on your cell phone and get you the I Quran. That's what I have. I Quran on my phone. And so you'll better get, get it through there. And this is what it says. So they accused him of falsehood and they became of those who were destroyed. And we gave Moses the book in order that they might receive guidance. And we made the son of Miriam. Who's the son of Miriam? Emmanuel. Not Jesus. And his mother a sign. So what did, so what did uh, 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 Isaiah say? To confirm the Quran. It says. Uh, I will give you a sign. Of his, of his own accord. And you'll see that in black. It's in backwards. But if you can you know, write it down. You'll figure it out. I'll give you a sign of his own accord. So we got two signs. One in the Torah. See. Torah. Oh, oh yeah. There you go. Torah. And then we get the sign in the Quran. You see the pages. So you see it kind of ripped out. You know. So it says, we gave you a sign. We gave them both shelter on high ground, affording rest and security, and furnished with springs. So now uh, we know. That their, uh, Emmanuel was secure. And he didn't die on the cross. Uh, and Before I get to that. He didn't die on the cross. Let me get to this part. The brotherhood of truth. Is one in all ages. So no matter if it was a million years ago. Or a million years ahead. Or right now. The brotherhood of truth. Is one in all ages. And it is narrow men. Who create sex. See. It's men who are small who create sex and break it and, and, and don't and divide up the, the brotherhood of truth. This is a brotherhood. This is not a fraternity. This is real life uh, uh, experience. This is real love that if I love the truth, I'm going to tell you the truth. And if you love the truth, you're going to tell me the truth. And if you love me, we're going to make sure we and drink the truth. So let's get with it. And then it says God's truth and his messenger can be known to all. So that right there lets us know we can all get it. We can all be part of the brotherhood of truth. Even if you're pale skin. No matter what you are, we can all be a part of the brotherhood of truth. But also, but here's the devil again at the bottom. Virgin birth and Jesus. Well, we just dispelled that there is no Jesus. And so we know that the devil got his hands in the, in the Quran as well. You know, and so we have to be mindful of that. Anybody that's teaching Jesus... They're not, they're not the true messengers of the Most High. They're, they're imposters. And if they're not saying Emmanuel, then just run from them, you know, and, and seek their counsel no more. So I just want to touch bases on that. And then and you go on the next page, furniture, this next page, from experience here. And oh, ye apostles, enjoy all things good and pure and work righteousness, for I am well acquainted with all that ye do. And verily, this brotherhood of yours is a single brotherhood. I, I am your Lord and cherisher. Therefore, fear me and no other, thus says Yahlah. It's written. Brothers, it's written. Okay? It's written. It's written. So we got that. We'll close that one up. Uh, so now we're going to get to the nitty gritty on that, on, on chopping down this. All right? So, we didn't get, to fin get a chance to finish saying the last one before we got interrupted. We prayed that we don't get interrupted again. I'm, I'm, I'm very upset about that. And I done lost my page. Okay, here we go. Now, 
Remember, in the Torah, it said, let her name him Emmanuel. But check this out. In Matthew, it says, he, he listened to the Lord. He didn't listen to Yahallah. He didn't listen to uh, 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 the spirit of Yahallah. But it says this, and I'm going to read it once again. Look, the virgin will conceive a child. She will give him, she will give a birth to a son, and he will be called Emmanuel. Let's go to Isaiah. Let her name him Emmanuel. Let her name him Emmanuel. So we got two sources that says the same thing, but who has the power? She has the power. And that's why it's a shame that they say that women can't teach and preach in the, in the congregation and all that when it clearly states that Elizabeth was a prophetess. And so uh, if she's a prophetess, you know she was teaching and preaching and talking to the people. So here we got, and let's now check this out. It says, Joseph woke up and he did what the angel of the Lord commanded. Now ain't Satan the angel of what? False light. Ain't angel, ain't Lucifer the angel of, 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 of lies and deception? And so he deceived Joseph because how we know? Because he said, but I don't know, we can't say he actually deceived Joseph, but he gave us the information. We gave, he gave us the information. Whoever wrote this put it in our minds as readers and, we, and folks internalize it as he brought Mary home his wife and she remained a virgin till her was born, till her son was born. And Joseph named him Jesus. See, Joseph named him Jesus. Not her, according to scripture. So now let's go back to John the Baptist or Meher Shalal Hashbash. Meher Shalal Hashbash. All right. Oh, man, where'd it go? Look, here it go. Now, Check now, hear, hear this. This is going to push your wig back. They had no children because it was born. So that's another virgin birth. No children. Was born and they both were very old. One day, Zechariah, the witness. Once again, Zechariah, the witness. The prophet and the priest. Now, how we know he's a priest in Matthew, I mean in Luke? Because Luke says this. One day, Zechariah was serving God in the temple for his order was on duty that week. So it was his week on duty at the temple of the Most High. You see what I'm saying? And so, and was the custom of what? The priest. Let Zechariah, the priest. <laughs> yeah, let's get to the, let's get, let's get the business.